It's not my desire to waste time, so all I ask for is for you all to hear me out and lend me 15 minutes of your time. If you care about your country, if you care about your future and the future of your children, Islam and immigration is something that you should give a shit about. And the tenets of Islam is something that you should give a shit about. So please, just hear me out. Does Islam need a PR campaign? The better question is, why would this question need to be fucking asked if it wasn't a horrible fucking barbaric death cult? I mean, why would something that isn't inherently negative need positive PR? What the fuck? Because the perceptions of Islam and the true values are so different. There's an enormous gap. Um, before I became Muslim, I had the same perceptions as everybody else. And do you think that since becoming a Muslim, maybe your perception is slightly biased toward your own fucking faith? Nah, nah. You're totally, completely rational in your belief of a... Of a misogynistic, fucking xenophobic, death cult from the Middle East with a bunch of barbarians. You're, yeah. This bitch, Jesus Christ. However, when I looked beyond the headlines and, uh, you know, and the prejudices, I found... Everything I just said, homophobic, xenophobic, misogynists? Or, uh, maybe... Um, a, a religion that makes sense, that is beautiful, that contains, you know, the same ethical values as Christianity or Judaism. Yeah, a religion that makes sense, you know, Muhammad flying off somewhere on a fucking winged horse or some bullshit like that, and the same ethical principles as Judaism and Christianity, because those were so pure, Abraham wanting to sacrifice his son on an altar to the Lord, or, uh, maybe perhaps, uh, I don't know, the, uh, the woman that's raped and doesn't cry out loud enough or doesn't cry out when someone's around gets stoned a fucking- Did you know, for example, that Jesus is a prophet of Islam? Maybe it's just me, but not only does her voice sound fucking smug, but the look on her face makes me want to fucking punch her. No one gives a fuck if Jesus is a prophet of Islam. You act as if that, by default, gives it some intrinsic purity that the rest of us should- Oh, Jesus was a prophet of Islam? Oh, well, that makes everything- oh, Guys! Guys! Misogyny and hatred and xenophobia- Moses, so is Moses and Abraham. There's a whole chapter on Mary in the Quran. I feel like the only reason you're even bringing up Mary is some bullshit appeal to Muhammad and Muslims don't hate women because they have an entire chapter on fucking Mary, retard. Prophet Muhammad was a woman's rights champion. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You don't know. Prophet Muhammad was a woman's rights champion. Menstruation is an illness, so let women alone at such times and go not in unto them until they are cleansed. When they have purified themselves, go on unto them as Allah hath enjoined upon you. Your wives are a place of sowing of seed for you, so come to your place of cultivation however you wish and put forth righteousness for yourselves, and fear Allah, and know that you will meet him, and give good tidings to the believers. point in the video, I really have to stop, because I'm reading this particular passage of the Quran for the first time, and I just can't fucking believe this shit, dude. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh my god. Alright, hold on. Hold on, let me compose myself. <clears throat> Those who commit unlawful sexual intercourse of your women, bring against them four witnesses from among you. And if they testify, confine the guilty women to houses until death takes them, or Allah ordains for them another way. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. The Quran, everybody! The fucking Quran! Not at all sexist. Women's rights advocate. It's fucking just. God bless America. Prohibited to you for marriage are your mothers, your daughters, your sisters, your father's sisters, your mother's sisters, your brother's daughters, your sister's daughters, your milk mothers who nursed you, your sisters through nursing, 
your wives' mothers, and your stepdaughters under your guardianship, born of your wives, unto whom you have gone in. But if you have not gone in unto them, there is no sin upon you. And also prohibited are the wives of your sons, who are from your own loins, and that you take in marriage two sisters simultaneously, except for what has already occurred. Indeed, Allah is ever forgiving and merciful. I finished a bit early. I guess I'll just let this ride out, because uh, it would be wrong of me and I wouldn't be properly citing my sources. So uh, you guys just enjoy this Arabic dude talking. All right, there you go. There's that. Deny it. Deny it all you want. You just heard him say it in Arabic, and I just read it for you. You can just... You fucking SJWs, you regressive cucks. Fuck it, let's just go on. Men are in charge of women by right of what Allah has given one over the other. I know at this point you're probably thinking, dude, we didn't fucking come here for a Quran study. Well, guess what? That's what you're fucking getting. That's what you're getting. You wanted fun and games, you should have gone to the Quran Reloaded. I'm not a fucking comedian. I'm here because SJWs are up their fucking asses and making me want to eat a fucking bullet. You think I want to fucking be here? I had plenty of fun just watching content creators on YouTube. That's what I fucking did. It's my primary means of entertainment, as sad as that may be to some people. But guess fucking what? Guess what? I can't watch one of my fucking subscribers without seeing the fucking... Just... I can't. I can't fucking do it. So here I am. Fuck you. You may... Fuck... All of them. O oh, you who have believed, do not approach prayer while you are intoxicated until you know what you are saying or are in a state of some Arabic word, except those passing through a place of prayer, until you have washed your whole body. And if you are ill or on a journey, or one of you comes from a place of relieving himself, or you have contacted women and find no water. Or you have contacted women and find no water. Then, yeah, then seek clean earth and wipe over your faces and hands. Indeed, Allah is ever pardoning and forgiving. And all of you are fucking egregious and ridiculous. Fuck. Dirt is cleaner than women. Indeed, those who disbelieve in our verses we will drive them into a fire. Every time their skins are roasted through, we will replace them with other skins so that they may taste the punishment. Indeed, Allah is ever exalted in might and wise. That last one, not even derogatory toward women necessarily, just 
religion of peace, though, reasons. I won't subject you to any more at the moment, but all of those were from the second surah and the fourth surah. Um, uh, a social reformer, um, you know, an environmentalist. We don't know all of this. Absolutely, you're looking puzzled. We don't know this. This is just not known. I think the true values of Islam are the best hidden secret, and it's time we pull the veil on it. Come now, miss. Let's not pretend like you actually want to pull the veil on f fucking anything. So let those fight in the cause of Allah, who sell the life of this world for the hereafter. And he who fights in the cause of Allah and is killed or achieves victory, we will bestow upon him a great reward. and uh, come out and show the positive values. When I tell any of these things that I've just mentioned to my producer on television, you know what he says? My God, Islam needs PR. And I suppose that's right where your stupid fucking privileged ass fits in. Am I right? Or am I right? <laughs> <laughs> You have to realize Islam, like any other major religion, is, is not a monolithic block. Yes. There are many different interpretations yes. and many different streams. The problem is there's only one interpretation that matters, the fucking interpretation of the person who wrote the Quran, the fucking shit prophet Muhammad. Fuck you. Now the violence of a few fringe extremists... Wrong, Cupcake. Most Muslim countries and most Muslims living in the West that have been pulled by fucking... Stop, just fucking kill me! Which we are, which um, act against the teachings of the Quran. Oh, that is the problem. Overshadow the entire media discourse. The vast majority of Muslims have unanimously elected you to be their fucking representative, or uh, condemn these actions, are against them, and live a completely different, beautiful version of Islam. So platitude, platitude conjecture bullshit where social e equity so, uh, social justice you know all this um, being kind to the weak the, the care for the, the the elderly all that is part of, of our value system peter, peter think, Whittle, is, is this a vision of islam that you this? you recognize and, and would you here's your fucking trigger warning snowflakes I'd like to be introduced to it listening uh, to you it's like you're living in fairyland uh, Enter one of the only reasonable motherfuckers in the room, everybody. Reason will prevail! I, frankly, I don't see why any religion, I'm a, an atheist, I don't see why any religion should have a PR campaign, which has actually been, I think, directly or indirectly funded by government money, by public money. It's not, it's why, entirely funded by private donations. Right, but it has okay. actually been promoted by tax-funded organizations. Why should no. this, why should this happen? Some of the points that are made are sort of so absurd that they, they almost are surreal. The idea that, for example, women in Islamic societies are not repressed is quite extraordinary. Now, for example, we talk about that. this country, nobody talk about this country, for example. Nobody has said that. Look, nobody, I said look, the values of Islam are pro-women and pro-men. Prophet Muhammad was a woman's rights champion. I must know, does self-awareness fucking exist for you people? What? No, no, don't no, judge Islam says, by Muslims. You said, no, no, don't no, judge Islam says, by Muslims. You said, what? No, no, don't no, judge no, Islam by Muslims. You said, Holy motherfucking hell, I think we might be getting somewhere. You just totally opened up the dialogue. We're not judging Islam solely on Muslims. We're judging Islam on what the Quran fucking says that constitutes a fucking Muslim. What the f Muhammad supported. Absolutely, uh, he did. But rights. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Prophet Muhammad was a woman's rights champion.